and welcome to this video tutorial with me Wayne from DrClean.co.uk. Now in this tutorial we're going to show you how to iron a cotton shirt in the traditional style. The traditional style means that it has these things in the collar which are bones because the interlining is not fused and that means the two pieces of fabric are separate and you can roll pieces of fabric across and create a crease at the edge. It's also got traditional double cuffs. As with everything we do there's an order and we're going to go from top to bottom and on this kind of shirt it means we are going to do the collar, the yokes, a cuff and a sleeve, the next cuff and sleeve and then we're going to go around the body. The collars on these shirts aren't fused with interlining so the the fabric is actually loose on the stiffening that's in the collar and that means that if you go straight over it you're going to run fabric to the edge if you can see it there fabric to the edge and if you go over that that is going to create a crease on the collar and that's going to look very amateurish you don't want to do that it's, it's not going to make you look how you meant to, how you're meant to look when you're wearing one of these special shirts so how do we do that? Let's get our steam going, hold our collar flat, go from the top edge and in from the top and down to the bottom. You can see that's a really good finish. We're going to have to do exactly the same back from the other edge. So what we're doing effectively is we're pushing all the loose fabric down to the bottom of the collar. And you can see that collar's absolutely pin sharp. Do not iron on the interlining because you will just damage that collar eventually. And what we want to do is we want to see a nice roll on the collar that we see there, which will naturally come in without doing anything. All right, we're now on to the yoke. And the yoke is quite important because it's right on that shoulder there. You want, you want a nice yoke. So you want to pull it tight and get that cotton really nicely stretched. There we go. I'm not so worried about the middle because that might be done again when I do the main part of the shirt. So we'll stretch, stretch and stretch. And you can see that's really tightened that fabric up. Now we're going to do a cuff. And I'm going to do the cuff again exactly the same way in from the edge. Now notice I'm doing the part that is actually going to show that's hugely important. You don't want to do the underneath of one of these cuffs, you want to do the part that actually shows. And again, it's in and down, in and down, and then I'm going to turn it round and go in and down, in and down. And once again, you can see that's really tight, and once it's curved around the body, it's going to look really good. Okay, that's the cuff. With all shirts, we work from the bottom seam, upwards. Now notice I just turn that over to get it semi in position and I'm getting the bottom seam straight. Just feeling the underneath so that everything's smooth. Stretch it. I'm going to stretch out those pleats and just go over them there and then I'm going to stretch them out so we don't put them in too far down the sleeve. With one movement I'm going to flip over the sleeve into the underneath position and just go over it again, stretching out the underneath area and stretching out that area so that they look really good. The, the, the cuff has to look really good. It's part of the appeal of these type of shirts. Again, we're onto the cuff again and we're going to go in from the edge. So lay it flat, go in and down in and down. Let's turn it round and go in and down, in and down. And once again, just to check, I have a really tight looking cuff there. I'm going to work again to the bottom seam. Upwards, get that cuff semi in place. Just feel a crease underneath 
so get that away now like with the other work from the bottom up we've got pleats there we're just going to nick those pleats in and then pull up from the rest so that we don't go too far with those pleats and make it look silly so the pleats are literally just in at the end and no further you can see that there turn it over stretch stretch and there we go we have two nice sleeves done now we're to the body and that really is the simplest part of this shirt put your iron on the end and stretch that buttonhole area that makes it nice and tight make sure the bottom is straight go up go up go up move it on a touch so that you're really stretching the underarm and go round the underarm to straighten it out just go over that section again a little bit round so we've got the next underarm section straighten the bot bottom we have a pleat there that once again just gonna lift go into that pleat and out put the pleat in and here's where I go with that center yoke flatten it so that the pleats off the iron again do the bottom make sure it's flat that center yoke flat just go up to that pleat flatten the pleat and clip it in now you see this is not particularly difficult you just have to think all the time is something flat can I get to it and once you, you've got it flat however small a piece that is that's what you want to do there we go we're coming towards the end of this shirt we're going in and out of those button areas because we don't want to hit them if we hit them we may stretch the fabric and warp it and then once up and down outside that button area to finish it off okay so when you're hanging a shirt like this I always think it's best to pop the hanger in and then do up the top button and at least the third button you can do up more if you wish it depends how tight you want it to look on the hanger in the wardrobe but that's effectively how it would look in the wardrobe and I think that's neat tidy and it's going to stay crisp until it needs to be worn which is exactly what you want from this type of traditional shirt hopefully that's helped you see you next time